Hello, greetings, and welcome to our words of encouragement today. Over the last few weeks, I have, or really the last few months, I have been taking a worship class through Wesley Seminary. And one of the pieces that was really interesting to me and kind of prompted my own thought process and hopefully my own growth process uh, was by a book called Sent and Gathered uh, by uh, Clayton Smith. And Dr. Schmidt talks about how what we do in worship ought to impact what happens to us and really an ongoing process, not just in a worship service of an hour each week, but that our worship ought to continue into every part and every day of our life. And so I was given this assignment to write a sending related to these verses out of Mark chapter 16, verses 15 and following. And Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and to preach the gospel to all creation. And whoever believes is baptized and will be saved. Now, Dr. Schmidt goes on to talk about how important missions is, that really our worship ought to be tied to our mission as the church. And I think probably anybody who knows me understands and grasps that mission is just part of who I am. It's part of my own Christian faith. I, I get it, I, I relate, and I understand that context. But I don't know that I had thought about how the mission that God is sending us to and on into the world and really into our own community ought to be tied to our worship. Kind of made me think a little bit. When we stand up there for the blessing and the sending that so often it becomes just a dismissal of, hey, we'll see you next week. Jesus loves you, and I do too. Peace out. And then the reality is, God said that our worship isn't just a time and a moment where we come, really as St. Mark, we come from three different styles and pieces, but it's this ongoing process because we're still trying to continually connect people or with people and connect other people back to God. And so I hope as you experienced worship yesterday that you experienced this peace of God's hope and his peace going beyond Sunday at whatever time you were worshiping. And it moved into a worship that is lived out today tomorrow, and in every part of your life, because worship isn't just a single moment in time. Our worship is part of every moment in time as a Christian follower. So as you go out today, may you be sent by God. May you be called into his mission field to live out your faith each day, each moment to the people that God places in front of you for this time in this place, in this moment. Go and worship as a sent people, the people of Christ. Amen and God bless.